I appreciate this opportunity. I'm sorry I just arrived uh, to make the presentation. My name is Evgeny. I'm the CEO of Parkathon. Uh, and uh, David has been here for the whole week. Uh, he's the chief business officer. I, I, I have to participate in the program, Tech Start Smart Mobility, to work with Intesa San Paolo in uh, Turin, in Italy. Uh, so we had to a little bit divide and conquer here. Um, what we have invented and patented is an automated mobility services platform that utilizes precise vehicle location. Um, basically, this is what my wife still looks like when she goes to a gas station. Uh, it's a lot of confusion. Uh, when she moved over to the United States with me and got her first driver's license, for two years I had to go fill up the tank myself for her car. So that's just one example uh, of the issues that are, retain that are related to, to the driving task. And basically, once you get driver's license, it doesn't mean that you can already go out there and drive around and know everything about how you do it. Um, electric vehicle charging, like what is that? How you do this? Traffic, parking meter, not always easy to navigate, especially in different cities, tolls. Uh, and then what do you do is insurance, like how do you figure out when you get a collision, which is one of the uh, most dreadful experiences. What we did is we said, okay, now you have to automate everything from within the vehicle itself. Just place all this infrastructure, all those use cases within the car and use the precise vehicle location to digitize. For example, if it is a toll, you don't need a gantry, you don't need an RFID tag. It just goes through the geofence zone, which is totally digital. You exit the geofence zone uh, and we charge you for the actual distance you, you traveled. Um, the same goes about uh, electric vehicle charging and gas stations where you just come by the gas pump, we know exactly where you are, so you're triggered. Do you want to pay? Uh, and that is already all saved in the cloud and therefore all of it is digitized, which allows for, most, for almost fully automated experience for the user without requiring any additional user interaction. It's real time, it's highly accurate, the patent is highly accurate geopositioning, especially in urban canyons. It's secure and it is fully automated as a system. The pilot proposal itself is to get 50 of the devices that I brought over here, which David did not have, it's in the box. Uh, if you want to take a look. So this is just going on the dash of the vehicles and that is all. Uh, it's fully enabled and it's <laughs> already there. Uh, basically, we have this deployed to electric vehicles and commercial uh, cars. Um, it does not require any infrastructure except for the API integration. Uh, and then it connects directly to the Gulp uh, mobile app. So basically, whenever you arrive at a gas station, just click a button and everything getting charged and invoiced automatically to your commercial invoice or a personal invoice. So everything is fully digital for you from here. It's a patented solution. It's infrastructure less. It's fully operational and already piloted in multiple locations across the globe, including Singapore, uh, Michigan, we work with Continental and Detroit Mercy. Uh, in Singapore, we work with Grab, a right hailing app. Uh, in uh, Seattle, we work with Danzo. Um, here in, uh, in Italy, we're already starting to work with Torino. Uh, so there are multiple locations where this is already actually working. 50 vehicles, 25,000 euros uh, is the budget, uh, and the outcome is validated use case and customer value for automated transactions and invoicing, I guess, and uh, EV charging stations. Uh, it's a pass to scale, it's a 90-day pilot, and then risks are privacy concerns, potential dissatisfaction with location-based stats and uh, integration challenges, which are uh, fairly small. This is our team. Um, I'm a data scientist, used to work with US government. David, whom you met, is a huge smart transportation expert. And then Yuri is our embedded systems engineer who's actually enabling all this hardware to work. Thank you very much. Thank you. So who has questions? Two questions. Hi, my, my question is, I think it's quite simple. Is, is it, does it have a battery inside or is it connected to the uh, electricity of the vehicle? The yeah, it's, it's a better part, yeah. It's battery powered, so uh, there is a USB charger here, so you just um, like a smartphone. All right. Charger for time. Fantastic. And I should mention that we actually already work with Continental and Danzo and Ford to integrate it directly inside connected cars. 
because the, the hardware is already there inside the vehicle. Uh, so it's software on the load uh, for any new car that is going to be out there. Okay, sounds great, thank you. And I guess Michael has a question? Same question? Okay. How do you ensure that the, the, the position is valid? Is, is there any kind of uh, enforcement or encryption or validation? Uh, are you talking about the communication <laughs> to the cloud or are you talking about the position itself? Both, both so the position is the patented algorithm, so that's what the patent is about. Is It's highly accurate, low cost location determination in urban canyons, like particularly here, where smartphone will give you 20 meters away. Yeah. I mean, we can talk about technology if you're interested, but, but anyway, that's a patent. Uh, so it's highly accurate within three meter accuracy, uh, reliably. Uh, in terms of connectivity, it's uh, real-time connectivity via VPN. Um, it, the same thing can work in 140 countries, um, and uh, it's private IP address on the SIM card that communicated directly via TCP IP connection. I mean, again, we can talk about technology for a long time, but it's very secure. <laughs> Thank you. Any more questions? Yes, no, 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 thank you. <laughs>